Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. You are probably new here, um, but if you are not a crafter, I would not subscribe because normally this is a crafting channel, but I'm also a makeup lover. So today we are unboxing two of the Jeffree Star Summer 2021 Mystery Boxes. So the ones I got are the mini, which has four lip products, I'm guessing. Um, one of which is an exclusive color, so I'm really excited to see that. And then we also got the deluxe, <clears throat> which is the yellow one. And this one has eight items in it, one of which is Star Ranch. Another one, he said, is an exclusive makeup item, I believe, but he didn't say how many were exclusives. So I'm guessing it's just those two, or I guess just the one really, because Star Ranch is only exclusive for a while, and then it's going to be coming to the general public, I guess you could say. So we're going to open up the mini first. tape on it. So we get this green wrapping paper. Or and oh, I was wrong. It's not lip products. And there's five items in here, so he only said four. But I'm guessing like with one of the last boxes, the Is there another one hiding. Okay, so we get two of the single shadows. We got suck. And I don't remember which palettes these are from. And Virgin. Which these are both matte shades. So I'm guessing these count as one item because that is what he did with one of the last boxes. Then we have, since this one says it, we have the Cold Digger eyeliner, which is, I'm trying to think if I got this one yet, but it is the brown shade. I need to say the exclusive was the liquid lipstick, so I'm saving that one for last. Then we got the gloss in Succulent. I love Jeffree's glosses. I have more of them probably than I need. But need is a relative term, right? So this is a really pretty, I don't think I have, I think I was gonna buy this one and I'm going with another shade instead, but it's like this really pretty pink, like bubblegum pink with, I think it's white, white and blue sparkle in it. Captures it pretty well. And then finally we have the liquid lip and it doesn't have a color on it, which he's done before. This is my first box. I've been getting the boxes, I think, ever since Halloween two years ago. Oh, there was one on the bottom. So this one is, I'm guessing, it does have the Star Ranch logo. I don't know which one he calls this, the Sheriff's logo. And then that is the actual color shade too. So, sorry, that's not focusing very well. Doesn't have a scent to it. That is a really pretty color. So it's like a, in person it's a little bit more mauve-y, I think, than it's showing up here. But super pretty, I will definitely be wearing that. It's a very wearable shade and it's one of my favorite colors to wear on my lips. 
So that is all four of the mini items. And I have, these are all complete surprise. I have not watched any unboxings, which I know I got my box relatively early. I do live like two cities over from his SoCal office. But that's not always the case. My last mystery box I got like way after everybody else, so I didn't do a unboxing on it. But I've stayed off Twitter, I have stayed off of YouTube. I did look at YouTube just to see if people had already received them, and I didn't, I think I only saw like three or four videos, so hopefully this is new information for a lot of you guys who want spoilers. So we get the pink paper in this one. And this one did not have a size, so there's not going to be a clothing or like a t-shirt item in here. So I'm just gonna reach and pull. The first thing that we got is the gloss in beaded glass, which I do have this one already, but I don't resell items. I'll just open it instead of trying to find it in my ginormous bag of glosses. But this one is another really pretty, super wearable shade. This one is hmm, kind of like a rose gold with pink and gold reflex. Sorry, there's a glare. I've got the window in front of me. But that way it gives you guys better light to see stuff. So then we got some more of the single eyeshadows. So we got Ice Tray, which is a really pretty sparkly blue. We got Flourishing, which this one is an interesting color. So I'm gonna try to pull this one out. Again, I don't remember which, yeah, like a very pretty bright dark teal. And Extraction, which I'm pretty sure is from Blood Sugar. I think Ice Tray, I don't know, I don't think that's from the blue. There's extraction. I do have, I have almost all the palettes. I don't have all of them. I'm missing Alien and a couple of the mini palettes. Then we have a lip scrub in Pink Grapefruit. which I have, I think this is my third one. I don't use, I have them in my shower. I just don't use them as often as I should. Then we have the, ooh, this might be, I'm curious, this might be the, one of the exclusives because it is a tinted lip balm in Bloodstain, which sounds very Western possibly caught or part of the new collection. So it says a soft, innocent touch of color, hydrating, silky, necessary, bring your lips back to life. If I can get it open, that'd be great. So it comes in the bullet casing. I know he has lip balms, but I thought the only ones he had were the Diet Shane and the I think it's called the CBD one. But here's what it looks like. I actually am not wearing anything on my lips, so I am going to try this one out. Oh yeah. These are gonna be popular. Harder, a little harder to get the lip and bow. Yeah, these are nice. 
Then we got a liquid lippy in Celebrity Skin. I do have this one as well. But this is one of the nudes. It's not one of my favorites, but it is a nice one nonetheless. And that's just because I'm super pale, as you can tell. So this one shows up. I just like a little bit more pink with a lot of my shades. All right. Then we have... A makeup bag. This might, I think this one's from the Shane collection. Yes, so it has the pig on the side, the little pig zipper pull, and does this one have? And it's got the little pocket inside. I do have a ton of makeup bags, but I'm glad I have them in different sizes because of traveling. So some I just leave totally empty and then I only take them when I travel. And that way I can just fill them up with my favorites and not have to undo anything. All right, so that is one, two, three, four, five items, six items. Yeah, because we had the lip scrub, the lip balm, the lipstick, the or liquid lipstick, the gloss, and the single shadows, and the bag. So next up we have Star Ranch super excited for this one. The reason I picked these bags or these boxes was because they had the exclusive makeup items. So he did show the unicarton, but it is this textured and I'm not going to look at the shade names because we're just going to look at them in person. Ooh, that is super pretty. It's just the blue, and now the exciting part. Oh yes, love me the glitter. This kind of reminds me of any controversy with the blues. But we have Yak Farm, Owl Eyes, which is that gold in the middle, Open Range, Casper Mountain, which is that blue in the middle row. Wyoming and Star Creek, which that is a beautiful green. And we have Old Jeff. Maybe that's his Western name, I take it. Grand Prismatic and Winter Wind. Those are gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Like I said, I love the glitter shades, so. I'm really excited for this one. And then finally, we have, ooh, so we have, it looks like the single shade. Oh, it's got a, pretty sure this is the single shade cover box thing. Palette, blank palette that thing, whatever you call it. So it, it is shrink wrapped. So give me a second and we will see. I'm really glad I got these. I got so much new stuff. I only had two repeats, I think, and that was repeats of stuff I already had. But now I'm gonna go watch unboxings of the other two palettes, or sorry, the other two boxes to see if there were things in there that I'm sad I missed out on because I think that the boxes are still available. Last I checked, most of them were. Yep, 
just pops open. It's It does feel, it's very light, so I'm pretty sure it's mostly cardboard, but I'm curious to see if it's magnetic or not. So we're going to open up one of the single shadows. get it all over ourselves and yes it is magnetic so that way you can just stick your shadows in and call it a day and this is a nine shade palette so this is exciting and so I have a bunch of other singles that I will put in and make my own palette out of. So that is the last item. Like I said, I am really excited with everything that came in today. I'm not disappointed with anything in the box. I really hope for future boxes he does stuff like this with more of the exclusive makeup items they're a lot more useful than pop sockets, which I have not actually gotten one in any of my boxes, but that was pure luck on my part. But thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you all enjoy your future unboxings and I hope you all enjoy everything that you get inside yours if you got one. So that is all for me and hopefully I'll see you in the next unboxing.